So when you know what you want, remain faithful to that assumption. And the assumption, though at the moment, is denied by your senses and denied by reason. If you persist in it, it will harden into fact. Are we not told that God calls a thing that is not seen as though it were seen and then the unseen becomes seen? He calls everything from the unseen into the seen in this simple manner. For he is the resurrecting power. So if I assume that I am, I don't have to have evidence to support it. I assume that I am. I am what? Well, I name it. And having given it a name, given it form, given it definition, remaining in it, I resurrect it. And if it takes a thousand men to aid the birth of that state, a thousand men will play their parts. And I don't have to go out and look for them. Any more than my brother had to go out and look for this man. He would not have known where to start looking for one the day of the sale. As far as he is concerned, he had done it in his mind's eye. And he allowed everything to happen. And he comes right in like a joke. He really thought it was a joke. And he said to this man, are you fooling me? He said, no. He said, well then wait, let me call my father. He said, lunch. He called him on the wire. He said, daddy, come on up. Leave everything and come. And then he said, now you tell my father what you told me. My father's name is Joseph. And my father said, you really mean it? He said, yes, Joe, I mean it. I'll have him bid today. You put your signature here and your son Victor put his signature. That's all I need. And that was a lifetime friendship. So when that man died, he didn't owe my brother Victor anything. He so loved the friendship and the feeling of well, decency that he had with my brother Victor, he gave him 150,000 cash. And that was tax free. And the homes, everything was tax free. And that building, which he bought for $50,000, was sold three years ago to the Bank of Nova Scotia. They tore it down and built a lovely structure, but they paid our family $840,000 for that building. So here was a gain, and there was no ta capital tax gain. None. That whole thing was simply free. So I know what I'm talking about. All I need from you is the acceptance of it. Will you believe it? Will you believe that with God all things are possible? Will you believe that all things are possible to men? Well, you can prove it in the not distant future. But you are the operant power. It will not work itself. If you dare to assume this very night that you have a better job than you now hold, or that you have a larger income, you may be fired tomorrow. Don't be concerned. On reflection, you'll see it was necessary to move you towards the fulfillment of your assumption. You could be fired. And I wouldn't bat an eye if you told me tomorrow, well, I did what you told me. You know what happened? I was fired. I have seen that. It takes someone to fire you to get you into a better job. I have seen that time and again. I wouldn't go out and quit the job. You may be promoted in the job. Or you may be invited by some other concern that is competitive to join them. I do not know how it happens. I only know if you remain faithful to the assumption it's going to happen and you're going to be promoted towards the fulfillment of the state that you have dared to assume that is yours. I could tell you unnumbered stories along this nature. So here I say dwell in the end. The end is where we begin.